Hi, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see who's thinking about you, who's got you on their mind. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. There is going to be a part two to this reading as well, and in part two, we're going to explore the messages in a little bit more detail. Um, in part two, is going to be made available via the extension link below. Okay, guys, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and see who's got you on their mind here, guys. All right, two of swords in reverse. We all saw that. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, this is an energy of someone who can't make up their mind. So they are thinking about you, but here's the thing. The Two of Swords represents an energy of someone who's um, indecisive. Okay, someone who hasn't made up their mind about you. Someone who is a little bit hesitant. Someone who's a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous. Someone who has too much information or not enough information about you. Someone who is a little back and forth in the energy okay um it can also represent someone who has in the past made a wrong choice a wrong decision with you so it could be an ex who feels like oh okay they stuffed things up with you and they want you back okay they have regrets and you know now all of a sudden they're coming to this realization that hey they lost you um they had a good thing going with you but they've made the wrong choice whatever the wrong choice was in it led to a separation or a disconnection and even though things are done between the two of you this person still finds themselves thinking about you thinking about how they could have acted differently how maybe something that they would have said maybe would have changed the outcome of your relationship the outcome of your connection um maybe they should have thought harder for you and maybe they should have thought harder for this connection so there is this energy of you know two of swords in reverse someone who is thinking about you but they're hesitant they're hesitant to tell you this they're hesitant to reach out see the emperor here he's not someone i mean you know we don't know him to be someone who's mushy lovey-dovey or someone very affectionate he's someone um he's someone a little bit cold okay someone who's a bit of an alpha so either this is someone who doesn't easily readily express their emotions or this is someone who you know this person doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve they're not overly affectionate um they've got love to give but it's it just feels like it's very contained it feels like they they do have a bit of a i don't know like it's a bit of a cold cold or an icy demeanor um I said that this person might be hesitant so they may have so for example it could be someone that you might have been in a relationship with and they might have moved with someone else but you know they could be here they are they could be comparing the person that they're currently with to you and they're a little bit they're unsure okay they're unsure if they made the right decision to move on because you know they still have feelings for you and they still think about you and they still think about you know what went wrong between the two of you so this is someone who's feeling trust me they're feeling very very confused and very indecisive possibly now more than ever um, i'm also seeing that you know the two of swords is a painful energy and it can represent like a painful ending um to possibly a connection or a painful ending of some sort so it's it's a choice where i feel like maybe this person is still very um like they're still hurting over the choice that they made with you or some of the choices that they've made with you. They're hurting over the fact that they might have hurt you in the process. Um, it could also be someone who, you know, needs to make up their mind or needs to make a decision. And what's happening is this person is, you know, they feel like time is running out or they feel like they need to make a choice or they need to make a decision. But they want more time. I don't know why. I don't know if you're like, okay, if you're the one that's saying, okay, you know, you need to make up your mind. You don't want to sit on the fence anymore. You don't want to wait anymore. Um, I just get, it's an energy of, you know, hurry up and make up your mind. 
Um, it could also be, this could be someone that is in the workplace though, okay? So if it's not an ex, or it could be an ex um, that you were involved with um, in the workplace, um, and maybe this person is a little bit undecided because they're torn, you know, they have to make a decision between, you know, making a move, pursuing a romantic connection with you, and how potentially this could affect uh, the workplace environment. So um, they could be purposefully stalling and delaying this, and maybe you're the one that's, you know, pressuring them to make a move it could also be mental turmoil as to okay well you know they i guess they're hesitating because if they make a move what do they stand to lose okay do they stand to lose their reputation at work do they stand to lose the connection they should share with you and you know what if you're good as friends and you know what if everything works well on paper but what if it doesn't work out in real, real life so this is someone who i feel like has hesitance um, hesitation in their energy so they think about you and they want to make this move towards you or they want to deepen your relationship with this person but I also feel like this is someone who's really cautious okay or very careful or for some reason they feel like they have to be so cautious and careful it is someone who does have this cold demeanor okay it's someone who is guarded again not it doesn't mean that they're emotionless it doesn't mean that they don't have feelings okay it just means that they're a little bit emotionally detached or you know it's someone who's really cautious very closed off someone who's very careful so um they're very careful as it to uh very careful with regards to making a move the other thing is maybe this person feels like they don't have enough information about you okay so what that means is maybe if this is a workplace environment or, you know, however this setting appears for you, they feel like, okay, well, what if you don't like them back? Okay, what if they make a move and what if you reject them? Okay, so, and maybe this person hasn't been rejected often in the past or they have and it's not something that they tolerate very well. It's an indecision that I feel like they have to make, but to me, it feels like they're experiencing some sort of emotional or mental turmoil over it. I also feel like, I don't know why, but this, I, I get the message that there's a line. You have to draw a line here, or there's boundaries, or a line in the sand. Um, uh, also, something about the truth here. So with this person, okay, if this is a past energy, or if this is someone you were romantically involved with, um, in this case, it feels like this is someone whom you have to see the truth of a situation before you're able to move forward. So... I don't know if this means you have to see the truth of your past situation with this person or you have to see the truth of the situation that you're both currently in in order for you to take you know positive steps in a new direction um, i also feel like this indicate to me this energy indicates that this person is someone who has a lot of anxiety when it comes to meeting people or when it comes to approaching people like dating and you know putting themselves out there they come across as someone who's a little bit cold someone who's very put together cool calm and collected um, but inside I just think this is someone who's quite anxious or who's been out of the dating game for so long and they're a little bit nervous okay so even though they may be thinking about you and maybe that's why they're being so cautious okay um, take it as it resonates with your situation because I do see that this is someone very careful and maybe look Maybe they're guarded because, you know, it's a protective measure. They're only trying to protect themselves. They don't want to get hurt again. Um, maybe this is someone who has like this really overwhelming sense of anxiety. See, with the high priestess, there's she shrouds this um, energy. She shrouds the readings and the energy in like this in mystery, in, in a bit of secrecy. So it's kind of hard, for you, it's kind of hard to get a read on this person and how they feel about you. But I also feel like there's this... Uh, I guess veil that kind of clouds the energies here because I feel like this person maybe is indecisive um, and I think this person is a bit of an avoidant as well and I think this person you know is it's like someone else might be pushing them to get out there and you know get out there put them put yourself out there is what someone a connecting energy might be saying to them and maybe they don't feel like they're ready maybe they don't maybe they don't feel like they're ready I also feel like if it is someone whom you know to be shy, because look, they're not coming across as shy. They're not. To me, on the outside, they come across as someone confident, very confident. And at least that's how they appear in the workplace or that's how they appear to a lot of their family and friends. But when it comes to dating, when it comes to dating, when it comes to love and relationships, 
that's where they get a little bit clumsy. That's where they, you know, it's not their thing. So they prefer to avoid it altogether. It, that's where it causes them anxiety. Um, it could also be that they're not ready, you know, they're not ready to get back into the dating game. If that's the case, then maybe have some very casual and low-key dates with this person where, until you start feeling more comfortable. Okay, such so as meeting them, maybe start meeting them for a coffee. Um, or, you know, I guess the both of you go out to like a crowded place so it's not so much a one-on-one -on -one situation because I do feel like this person ha you know has a bit of anxiety I think um, when it comes to dating um, okay so in this instance we want to see okay so someone thinking about you if this is a workplace environment let's see how the both of you are going to approach this situation um, or otherwise you know this is someone who's thinking about you but they're a little bit hesitant let's see if they're gonna get clarity in the energies Okay, let's see if this person is going to get more of a clear idea as to, you know, what, what they're going to do and how they're going to approach the situation. Okay, because I see them very, I feel like they're very focused, they're very, um, for a lot of you I think it's a, it's a workplace connection or it's someone that you did have, you've built a connection with this person in the past. And it's someone whom I feel like, you know, you've built up a very strong and solid foundation with this individual. But something went wrong and they feel like they've stuffed up and they feel like maybe they took your love for granted. Um, so let's see in part two of the reading what the messages have to um, have for you. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Um, please show your support if you haven't already by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye.